Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I am doing a quick review of the new Blu-ray from Scorpion releasing of Lucio Fulci's The Gates of Hell, aka City of the Living Dead. Now because on this release, on the box anyway, they are using the Gates of Hell title, I am actually going to refer to it as Gates of Hell going forward. Also, that is actually my preferred title. So this is a release that has been in the works uh, actually for a couple of years. Originally it was with Code Red and then Scorpion releasing took it over and has spent oh man a year year and a half at least uh, I think working on the restoration and it is a full 4k restoration as it's not a 4k release it is a blu-ray release but uh, the original restoration it was done I believe in full 4k and it is based on a scan of the original camera negative coming from Italy now Gates of Hell is a hard title it's sort of in line a little bit with a uh, New York Ripper where I kind of feel like every video release has always been not quite up to par because it is naturally a very grainy film. Just because of the film stock that was used and the way they were processed. Very common, even here in the US, a lot of Hollywood films from that time are actually the same way. And then it just has to do with abandoning sort of the older Technicolor process and then they sort of transition to find a less expensive ways to film and process film and it just made, for a while, it just uh, was a very grainier film stock that was used. So Gates of Hell has had a couple Couple releases already on Blu-ray going back to actually the start of the Blu-ray format with Blue Underground releasing Gates of Hell City of the Living Dead and this was a really good release especially at the time and now the only problem is the HD master uh, that is used for this created specifically actually for the original DVD release which usually meant a boosted contrast uh, so usually extra sharpening and on occasion noise reduction and then we had the Dark Force uh, Code Red sort of co double feature disc that had uh, Gates of Hell and uh, Psycho from Texas on it and the Gates of Hell print uh, that was used is an actual 35 millimeter print so it's supposed to have a I think sort of drive-in look so it has all the flaws that an actual print would have but it's meant to this is more just a like a fun version of the film and then obviously you had the Arrow release that was done which uh, again also had a 4k scan from the original negative and then Arrow did their own color correction and restoration now you may be wondering why I have a copy of the Arrow release because I don't have a region free player originally I was supposed to get a region free player uh, long story short, uh, I don't have a region free player, but I do actually still have a couple region B releases and this is actually one of them. So even though I can't watch it, I actually do have this release. Downside is I cannot actually do a side by side comparison. Just sort of refer to a couple screenshots that I saw online, but please use that as a caveat as I don't like to normally do that, but it more has to do more with the color timing, which I will get to in a moment. And so now we have the Scorpion releasing Blu-ray and I have to say that I was really impressed because for a film that usually does not look that good it looks really good it doesn't look perfect no this is one of those films that probably will never look perfect but it looks really good it does still have grain the grain is just very refined which is key so the grain because uh, if you remove the grain you remove all the detail from the image and we don't want that and the color correction I thought looked really good the only thing uh, that I did notice between this release and prior releases, including the Arrow release and even the Blue Underground release, was it didn't look as colorful as those releases do. Now, the Blue Underground release had boosted contrast. The Arrow release may, in fact, have a little bit of a boosted contrast as well. That's why I'm not sure whether or not which version is correct. If I had to guess, it's probably somewhere between the two. This one, by comparison, looks a little bit undersaturated compared to those other releases, but those other releases may also be oversaturated. So the only thing that makes me question a little bit on this one is there were a couple shots that uh, on the other releases were had a little bit more apparent blue well this one does not but other than that everything did look very natural and very filmic which is very important now i will say uh something that i did notice in what would probably be real three but i don't think it's actually a fault of anything that scorpion did in real three i did notice it was very very slight uh color fluctuation and it happened through several scenes which makes me believe that it happened basically for an entire reel of film and because of where it happens in the film uh it's sort of around where the maggot scene is basically which would make it make me think that's about real three now that unfortunately is just comes from film deterioration and considering that this film probably is 
is not stored as well as it should be. I'm not surprised that there is deterioration involved and there really is only so much you can do. Now, I don't know whether or not this is apparent in the error release uh, because again, I can't watch the error release, unfortunately. So some of you will have to let me know. Now, this is very, very subtle. It's not an in-your-face effect. In fact, I asked someone else if they had noticed it uh, who also just recently watched this release and they didn't notice it at all. Now, I was looking for stuff, obviously for the sake of the review, but even I had to wonder like if I wasn't looking for it, would I have noticed it or not? And there were very minor uh, compression issues, nothing major. There's a lot of fog in the film, which is very, very hard to compress for. And again, I was looking for it, uh, again, for the sake of the review. I really don't even think I would have noticed it otherwise. Outside of that though, I have to say that the presentation was really, really great. The audio also sounded really good. It does come with several audio options. It comes with the original English mono and Italian mono. It comes with English stereo and in remixed uh, English uh, 5.1 mix and it does have uh, subtitles um, as well and it does come with almost all of the extras that were on the error release. I think there were about two interviews that were on the error release that are not on this release and there's a commentary track that's on the error release that is also not on this release but this also has a commentary track that is not on the error release. So you know you got to trade off there at some point. Now this is one of my favorite full tree films. This is actually one of my top three full tree films uh, behind uh, Zombie and the Beyond. So I've been waiting for this release for a long time and I'm really really happy to have it. Unfortunately I can't say whether or not if you have the error release and you want to uh, get this release. I can't. It's not an easy question for me to answer without being able to do a direct comparison. But if you don't have the error release and you're a full tree fan and you're a fan of Gates of Hell, this is definitely a fantastic release. The film has never looked better. So great also revisiting the film. I haven't actually watched it I think in like about a year or so. And it's so great to have a lot of these Italian films get these 4K restorations so that we also have an archive version as well because again they are deteriorating as as I mentioned look like Real 3 was uh, already getting kind of rough. But again kudos to Scorpion Releasing for trying their best to uh, really fix it up. So if you have any questions uh, about this release that I didn't cover in this very quick review definitely let me know and I will try and answer them as best I can. And if you've picked it up and have already watched it definitely let me know your thoughts. So for me this was definitely a very easy one to mention if you want to kind of go out with this amazing original poster artwork that I love so much. So as always thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.